This is a crash course about DC analysis and thermal analysis. First, start by uploading your file, importing your file into SIWave using one of these forms. Step two, go directly to the DC solver. Select all the power planes that you have in your model and assign voltage source and current source. Current source, of course, on the load and voltage source at the output of your VRM and do that for all the power planes. Configure simulation, validate, and now simulate. After getting a solution, go immediately to ice pack. Use ice pack within SI wave. Select which solution you want from your DC solutions and launch. Now that we have finished the iteration, we have so many DC solutions and we have thermal solutions. You look at, at the last one and that's the one we're going to send to ice pack. So this last one has the most accurate value based on adjusted conductivity of the copper. Inside the electronic desktop, you're going to find your PCB model with some dummy air regions around it and used ones. Now I want to add an enclosure and increase the air region around it to be able to do more accurate thermal analysis. This is the air region and this is the enclosure inside metallic enclosure. We assign boundary conditions to the air region. So we go and we select we select surface, we select all the surfaces. And you assign them thermal boundary condition, which is wall stationary. And you say, I want it to be a temperature. And you assign it, of course, by default, centigrade, ambient temperature, finish. Now that we have a solution, now we can plot the temperature on any surface. So we have all these objects coming from SI wave. Let's select the solder mask on top. And we say we want this one. Overlay, plot field, temperature, surface temperature, and plot on surface. This is the temperature on the top surface. 